Why does anyone lose in life? They don't play the game, yes? They don't want to, yes? But, but I want to look, I want you to look at the answers that you give, okay? Because the, the answers are logical, but I want to start to confront the answers, okay? They don't want to. Are you in games that you don't want to be in? Yes? Good. So why don't you stop them? Because the overall is you more want to be them than not. So it's mean that you do want. So what is it? Why, why does anyone lose in life? They play the game unknowingly. They don't know they're playing a game. They don't know. They don't know that they're in a game. They're playing a game. Imagine that you sit in a game of backgammon and you don't know that you're playing backgammon, you're just moving things. You're sitting, you're a player, you, you're a player, and someone moving things for you. The market goes up, the market goes down, there's a war, no war, and you think that you're, you're making big effect because you are sitting on the chair of the player. You're playing the game unknowingly. Do you understand? They are a CEO, but play the game of janitor, or a soldier, or a ship captain. So they are playing one game, they are the CEO, let's say I'm a CEO, but the viewpoint, the viewpoint is of a janitor, or a soldier, or a ship captain. So they're playing the CEO and they say, hey you, soldier, come here. Which soldier? And he thinks that maybe he doesn't call his employee a soldier, but he says, hey you, come here. And when the employee don't do that, he thinks this is a bad employee. In his mind, do you understand? Have you seen someone being a CEO and being an, a, a, a commander in the army at the same time? Did you see someone being a salesman and being at the same time a beaten woman? Oh, please buy from me. <laughs> I'm so poor. <laughs> Even if they don't do the show like that, but that's the viewpoint. Have you seen that? Have you seen someone that go, he's a salesman and he's fighting with the customers. He thinks that he's a wrestler. He's fighting with the customer. The customer comes to him and he's trying to make him wrong and he fights with him. Have you seen that? Yes. Have you seen a manager that's supposed to get things done but he's afraid? He's in fear. He's afraid of getting results. So he has a... he, he wears the hat of a loser. Have you seen someone that is a manager but he plays like a loser? Look, please do that work for me. I really need that. Please. And he says yes and he goes... And then he didn't do it and he said, oh, you know, but you didn't do that. You told me that you will. I will do it tomorrow. Okay. Did you see managers like that? Yeah. Yes. They maybe not look like that, but they will send you an email. Please do that and this and that. And two weeks later, you, they forgot about it. You didn't do it. And they remember and they say, hey, you know, I'm sorry to bother you, but do you mind doing that? And the guy don't answer. He's a loser. The manager is a loser. So, if you don't know what game you are playing, how many of you playing the game of succeeding in the physical universe, but what you're actually doing, you're playing the game of resting? How many of you playing the game of succeeding in the physical universe, but you're actually playing the game of being a spectator of Netflix? How many of you have a lot to do, very, very urgent things to do, that's your real game, but you're playing the game of I don't have time? Not because you don't have time, because you don't do. So, many of you playing the game of the physical universe, but you don't know you play it, because you play all the other games. If you don't know what game you are playing, your action in the game will not be logical as far as results are concerned. And your ability in the game will decline. If you don't know which game you're playing, let's say I'm playing a game of backgammon, but I think that I'm playing a game of basketball. I'll take the pieces and throw them. The result of the big game will be quite crazy, no? That's what you do in life. How did it happen that you started to play a game unknowingly? How come that you started to play basketball and then you, you play with the balls of the basketball big game?